In today's Cam Instructor Mastercam Tips video, uh, we're going to be talking about chain direction. And this video itself was taken from one of our teacher training uh, Q&A sessions. And the question was, does geometry creation order affect the chaining direction of a toolpath? Uh, the short answer for that is no. And we'll follow up on that with an explanation of how to get your chain going in the correct direction uh, from the beginning of your chain creation. Direction of tool paths is very important. Uh, so basically, let me just get rid of some of these these lines in, on screen here. And I'm just going to create a quick little rectangle here. So this is the outside of a part. Uh, we want to machine this, this shape around the outside. Typically in the CNC world, we want to do what's referred to as climb milling. So climb milling is, our, our cutter always rotates clockwise and climb milling is going with the rotation of the cutter. Conventional milling is going against the rotation of the cutter. So if we want to cut the outside of this part we need to be going around this part clockwise. So the order in which we created this geometry is not going to affect the direction of our toolpath. It doesn't matter if we made this by using rectangle or if we made this by doing um, four line endpoints, the I created so I created this line first, second, third, fourth. That's not going to have an effect on my actual toolpath. So I'm going to go into a, a, a quick toolpath here. Even though uh, you guys haven't, you may not have addressed this yet in your lessons. I'm going to head into contour. And like I said, I want to create this toolpath going clockwise, but I created the part going counterclockwise. It's not going to affect anything. What does affect the direction of the chain? So if I click here, notice if this is going around clockwise. If I click here, notice it's now going around counterclockwise. So the only thing that's going to affect the direction of your toolpath is the half of the line or the half of the segment that. I guess more correctly, the half of the entity that you click on. So I'm going to click on this line here somewhere. Uh, obviously, this line has a midpoint about there. So if I click on this half of that segment, Mastercam will uh, interpret that as being this half of the chain is the starting point of it. So it will travel this way. Oops, I just mistakenly clicked that. Uh, so again, I'll click on this half of the chain. So Mashcam interprets that half of the segment as being the starting position. If I click on the opposite half of that segment, Mashcam assumes that's the start point and the chain travels in that direction. So the geometry creation itself will not affect the toolpath's direction. It's the chaining uh, of that geometry that will affect it. Uh, so don't worry too much about how you're making your geometry as far as what gets made when. Um, the main thing here is just to make, make good geometry and correct geometry and the tool paths we can always edit and modify and adjust to do what we want them to do afterwards. Uh, so again, any other, any other questions, feel free to ask away on Slack. Um, I'll definitely answer them. If I can't, then I'll, I'll make something up and lie. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, for the most part, I'll be able to answer any questions you guys have, even if it's not specifically related to Mastercam. Uh, if it relates to solid model imports or even machining practices, uh, any sorts of uh, topics like that we can, uh, we can discuss here. Thanks.